Hi, my name is Amaya Crichton. I am a rising senior at the University of Miami. Go Hurricanes! Today I'm going to be showing you around what a day looks like for me at the Prakash Lab. We are starting the day with a sunny walk to the lab. The U Miami campus is full of wildlife and palm trees and I had to stop at the Arboretum behind the physics building. It's time to check in the lab. This is the office space and there's also an experimental area. We store all of our live Pateria miniata sea stars in these tanks and here I am just doing gamete extraction for fertilization. These are immature oocytes from a female and I'm using this one methyl adenine to mature them. And one day post fertilization we can observe the sea star larvae at blastula stage with its hair like cilia. We also culture a few different species of algae in the lab which we use to feed the larvae. The lab also has an abundance of corals and other species. Now we can head over to the chemical hood which is where I perform my fixations with any toxic chemicals like formaldehyde. I started in the Prakash lab in fall of 2021. We're coming to about two years of my involvement in the lab. I happened to fall into a biophysics class, decided to get a minor in biophysics Physics, and that kind of led me to joining the Prakash Lab, which is an interdisciplinary biophysics lab at the University of Miami. It was at the Prakash Lab that I was first introduced to the Society of Developmental Biology. Dr. Prakash suggested it to me um, for my summer research and thought it would be a great program and opportunity for me. I actually went on to take a developmental biology course with Dr. Athula at the U and to do the embryology course at MBL just a few weeks ago for a week, which was a super cool experience. Now we're heading to the microscope room where we keep our upright and inverted research microscopes. I use these to produce images of both fixed and live larvae during development. We also have dissecting microscopes, which I use a tracking software on to analyze the swimming trajectories of the larvae. The next step will be tracking the larvae in three dimensions using this multi-camera setup by one of the postdocs in our lab, Dr. Melissa Russick. So my academic mentor that oversees my research work is Dr. Vivek Prakash. It's been such a pleasure working under his guidance guidance and insight for the past two years. Hi, uh, I'm Vivek Prakash. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Miami. I'm technically in the Department of Physics, but I also hold um, secondary appointments uh, in biology and in marine biology and ecology. So I've been at uh, the University of Miami uh, for more than three years now. So I started my lab uh, just two months before the pandemic in January 2020. So my work is primarily focused on biophysics in marine systems like sea stars, um, corals, also on trichoplex. We take a physics approach, but what we do is really answer questions uh, relevant to a biological system. We do work a lot on problems in uh, developmental biology. We have four grad students. Some of them come from physics, some of them come from marine biology. We have two postdocs in the lab. So far we've had five undergrads in the lab every summer and one of them is uh, Amaya Crichton. She is an SDB Choose Development uh, Fellow and we're really excited to have her. She's been doing great. Uh, she's been working since last year and this is her second year here. So we're very thankful to SDB for organizing this fantastic program. I also work day to day in the lab with my bench mentor Bikram Shrestha who is a fourth year PhD student. He really helps me with day to day activities in the lab and just staying on track. Hello, I'm Vikram Dostrestra from Nepal. I'm in fourth year of my PhD. I joined this lab from 2020 January. We have been working in interdisciplinary subjects like vampire physics and trying to answer how animals behave under certain physical conditions. The model system in our lab are sea star. So those are from uh, California coast. I hope you enjoyed my day in the life as a lab student here at the U. I had a lot of fun being a Choose Development Fellow. I just wanted to thank the Society for Developmental Biology for this opportunity and for the funding and the support. I can definitely say the experiences that I've had these past two years have shaped me and prepared me for my future endeavors. Thank you. Bye.